It seems that Trump's election last year will have devastating consequences for decades to come. Its proposed health care reform will, if passed, strip more than 20 million Americans of their health care coverage. His tax plan will lead to cuts in vital services, and he has the power to stack the judiciary with pro-corporate and anti-labor judges. So to be frank, those who voted for Trump and the Republicans to shake things up have basically ruined their future chances. Due to this result, it is likely universal health care in America will not be implemented in my lifetime. Even if there is a massive swing towards the political left in the near future, the primary reason for this is the GOP's domination of the judiciary. When Trump was sworn in, there were 150 vacancies in the federal judiciary and one vacancy in the Supreme Court. Now, Trump has already reaffirmed the conservative majority in the Supreme Court by appointing Neil Gorsuch, who has traditionally sided with business over labor in workplace relations issues. So if a case involving workers' rights versus business interests reaches the Supreme Court, we know which side is going to win. Also, now that the GOP has a majority in the Supreme Court again, how do you think they will deal with the introduction of universal health care? I know exactly what will happen. The Supreme Court will declare such a scheme unconstitutional and side with the insurance companies. To add to this, these appointments to the Supreme Court and federal judiciary cannot be reversed. These judges are appointed for life. So Sanders or any other centre leftist will not be able to implement their agenda even if they are elected in a landslide. Now we come to Trump's tax cuts for the rich which will greatly weaken the budget unless they cut spending. Now we know that the Republicans will not cut military spending. They will, however, be cutting Social Security and Medicare. That's right. Those who voted for Trump voted to cut services that they rely on in order to enrich the already wealthy. So in truth, Trump voters are not anti-elitist at all. They are in fact the stooges and the bootlickers of the elite, putting the interests of the ultra-wealthy before the well-being of their families. Now it might appear that I am blaming the working class for Trump. Not true. The evidence shows that the working class by and large rejected Trump's lies. Trump's supporters were mostly wealthy and middle class people. So it should be so it would be totally unfair to blame the so called reactionary working class for Trump. What should be blamed is the gerrymander that keeps the hated Republican Party in office. Never forget, even the unpopular Pro-corporate Clinton won the popular vote by millions, but still lost the Electoral College in a landslide. Another issue is voter suppression that has that also benefited Trump, where voters who were likely to vote against Trump due to his racist rhetoric were denied their voting rights. Of course, the judges that Trump is appointing to the judiciary are big fans of such tactics. So I'm certainly not blaming the working class or the poor for Trump's win. They are the victims of a terrible system that leaves them disenfranchised. So no, these working class Americans do not deserve to lose their health care, their homes or to be cast into poverty. They are victims of the corrupt capitalist system that favours the rich. We should all remember that. Печатает газеты с бульдогом интервью. Бульдог в них излагает позицию свою, собачью точку зрения на космос, на прогресс. И вот уже он избран на выборах Конгресса. Чего не может только наделать капитал?